Hi, welcome to this video. So uh, today in uh, game creation, what we're looking at doing is have a nice smooth movement. I, I don't care about anything else working today. I'm not interested in directions or anything like that. I just want to get the player player's movement smooth. Um, so we're going to ignore everything else and deal with that later in the week. But hopefully by the time this video ends, there's a nice movement uh, for the player. Let's switch over to the screen. Okay, so I've loaded up the uh, MFA file that we started last week. And uh, I'm just going to run it. And you can see that we can just move about using the curse keys. But we're looking at an animation to move it rather than it just suddenly get to the new tile. Um, so I'm going to click on the, uh, on the tile first and go to the event editor. And you can see we did that just by adding the amount of pixels required. So I'm going to focus on the right hand arrow for this video uh, and then we'll focus on the rest of the directions in the next few videos. Um, so I don't want it to just add 64 pixels on straight away. I want some mechanism um, for it to um, move the, the object um, to the right. Um, so I want to get rid of that. And I want to say that, right click, and I'll go to the clock. Now, I want it to like, create that movement we talked about um, at the start of the week and at the start of this video where you're just incrementing a tiny little um, bit each time rather than the final bit at the end. So we're going to just say um, every. And what I normally do is try and make this as small as possible because at one second is uh, a very slow movement so we want zero seconds um, it's tempting to maybe put one millisecond down which um, seems a really good idea but actually um, I think 10 is a good place to start and then you can tweak it when you're ready and I never use these things because uh, I like to be a bit more precise because it's easier to do the maths if you think about numbers so I click OK and instead of um, us, I don't know why I deleted that, I should have kept that, but instead of us um, just suddenly getting to the destination, we're just going to add a smaller amount. So we're going to add maybe one pixel, click OK, and if I run that and see what that looks like. So that's very slow. So every tenth of a second um we're moving what the one pixel so that's really slow we want to want to speed it up now two ways you can do that you can either add more pixels on um or you can lower the time so if i lower that time if i halve it then it should go twice as fast and there we go it's, it's going twice as fast so if i halve that again well more than halve it let's put that down to two going much better and if I put that down to one it's going much quicker so I can't go less than one and if you write in the comments if you can find a, a way of going less than um, one uh, bit of a second one hundredth of a second it's not is it millisecond it's not a millisecond is it um, like a center second I don't know um, okay, so what you can do also, as I said, is you can lower the uh, time it takes us to update. So it's it's doing it one hundredth of a second each time. Um, what you can actually do is add more pixels on. So if I double this, then it'll go twice as fast. There we are, it's twice as fast. And if I double it again, it'll go twice as fast still. There we go, it's going much faster. Um, as I said before though, I don't really want this to be one um, because in my uh, experience, when you start building a game up um, and there's more and more and more things going on, um, this doesn't like being that small uh, and you start to get um, memory issues. Um, although then again, I've, I've just got a nice new computer so maybe maybe I wouldn't get those those issues as much anymore. I'm normally comfortable with this being about 10, um, so I'll keep it at 10 for now and then just adjust. And you can see it's actually 
10 is not cutting it for me anymore. If you look, it's jaggery. I don't know how much this is showing up on video, but it's jaggery. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So you've got to be comfortable with kind of the frame rate. Um, and talking of frame rate, um, so normally you're used to, uh, what is it, 60 frames per second is a thing. Uh, 60 frames per second um, would be, um, well, this says how much it's updating the screen. So if this was one, it means it's updating the screen 100 times in each second. So if we get our calculator out and we work out how much um, that has to be for 60 frames a second, well, we do 100 divided by 60, and it would be 1.6. So really, um, a 2 there would be uh, 50 frames per second. Now, 50 frames per second is quite comfortable. It's quite a nice thing to use. I don't know whether you can use decimals here. I don't think so. I think it's... Um, and I've never tried, so I don't think you can use decimals. But again, in the comments, if you think if you if you know you can, uh, so that if that's two, that's I'm comfortable with that. And this is all about experimentation and just trying things out. For me, that's still a bit quick, um, but I think we won't know until we've got a game. So let's just make that three and just slow it down a little bit. Yeah, I think. I'm happy with that for now. Happy with that for now. And then what we'll do is we'll see whether we want to change it. As I said, in the next video, we will be hooking in the different directions and just going to like the best way of doing it, uh, in my opinion. And this uh, coding is always about my opinion. Um, there's always loads of different ways of doing things. Um, and there's some ways that probably you can come up with that are miles better and please write them in the comments because one of the beauties of this uh, program is there's always loads and loads of ways of of doing the same thing um, and the ways I have I use um, have just been ones that I've seen in forums or you know other people have told me about um, and they don't necessarily mean that they are absolutely the best and you might be sitting there at home with, with better ideas and please share them um, and that would be amazing. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.